How you doing guys and welcome, it is Kraken here and we're back in Darkness Falls day number 60. So yes, day number 59 wasn't, wasn't entirely skipped. If you missed the last episode, you need to go back and watch it. We went to the wasteland and we did the first bunker quest for Anna. And it took us a long, long time to do. So that is why... We are now on day 60, so we skipped about half a day, and I just spent that time doing some crafting um, and mainly research, because research has been one of the biggest things so far. Because obviously, I don't know a lot about this mod, and you guys have been amazing down in the comments telling me different bits and bobs. But I've been doing, doing lots of research and just trying to find out, really, what is the next level of progression, you know, because... We saw some pretty nasty things down there. We did okay. Um, we didn't die, which is a, which is a big bonus. Um, but yeah, we need to get bigger and better. So we were doing combining on the last episode in here. Right, I have made myself two things actually. The advanced rigging and this crossbow auto loader, which could completely throw me off. Um, so we're going to take off that we did find down there, this balancing act. Um, let's take off the foregrip and put that one on. I don't quite know how this works. Let's have a quick little look. Uh, load you up. Oh, he puts five volts in there. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, so that means we could actually get a couple of shots off on the, on the go, which is, um, which is pretty damn good. Right, uh, scrap that. So what we're going to do today, I haven't quite decided yet. I've not 100% decided, but we're going to do some stuff in the base first. What I did yesterday is I combined a load of this stuff together because I ran out of room in my box. I've got a load more ammo on the craft and I've got a load of concrete on the craft as well. Well, it's already done actually because we are going to have to do the flooring of the base over there. So that is something we are going to have to do before the next horde. Now, this one over here would not go above 61. But we now have the laser workbench done. And this we can go above. So we're going to start at the bottom. All 16. So that's jumped up to 37. Jumped up to 45. Jumped up to 60. Now that one's my one with mods in. So we'll, apparently that has been fixed, but I'm not going to trust it anyway. 67. So we've gone up six places there. 73. 79. Okay. So that's pretty damn good. So we've actually got a mod slot in there. Let's take out. So this is one we were using, so that's why it's taken a, a little bit of damage. Or, you know, 80. Okay. Now, let's just have a quick little look before we go to 80. Range damage of 9. Range damage of 9. Now, Kane hasn't seemed to upgrade these, put all the, put all the figures and stuff into them yet, so... Not really much comparing we can do. Stays on red, but goes to 80. So let's just quickly mod you back up. And you have got room for another mod slot. So let's just have a quick little look. What can we put into you that we haven't already got in there? We've already got rad remover. Oh, you've already got one of those. I didn't like that's what that's what I took out the impact um the semi semi um auto mod let's put a full auto into there and he should now be a okay right we've got the impact racing mod to put in and what I've done I've made myself the last mod this one here because we picked up shed loads of hazmat fiber how much have we actually got left um it's in here somewhere hazmat five 15 so i made myself a last one so i didn't have to wear those stupid big yellow trousers 
and got my BDUs back on. Uh, modify you. Um, we'll take out the insulation and put the impact bracing mod on there because we haven't had any issues with the heat or not. Um, so let's put on the tactical rigging. So we have the second tactical rigging. We've now got the final tactical rigging and get you reloaded up. Still take the 45 rounds. We did get our first laser weapon yesterday, uh, which looks pretty damn cool. Now, I'm going to quickly skip through or speed speed this up uh, the baseball bats because we've got plenty of them and I want to get a better titanium reinforced club. Right, quickly compare these up. Take the mods out of this. So we're already at 68, and we got one more to put in. So 56.9, 58.9. So, yep, we're already up two, and we'll do the last final one there. That one, can we get you to 70? That'd be nice. 72, look at that. And you're doing 37.4. And the other one was at 68. Work that shit out. But I'm going to take it that it is going to be better. And we've got one more mod we can whack into you. And with this type of weapon, we can whack any mod into you. So Fire Axe will do the job. There we go. Fantastic. Sweet as. Right, the next thing to look at, we're going to be looking at a few different things. I made myself a load of coal. And the reason I did that was I decided to make myself super water. So now we're actually going to be carrying super water rather than just normal water. Because yesterday we did get a little bit on the thirsty side. So we need it in case we get caught on fire like we did yesterday. But this time we've now got... Proper water, which gives us 30 rather than this one that gives us 10. So carrying 10 on us should should sort us right out. Right. Next thing to look at is the broadcasting. Now that we need to go into gear science. But they're quite cheap to make. Electrical parts, quite a few polymers, but we've got a shed ton of those. Loads of silver nuggets, two silver nuggets, and gold nuggets. Well, we've got loads of silver and gold we go into here because we've been getting them from mining and we started saving them rather than selling them because people did tell me again down in the comments that i would need them and this is the reason why because you need to put a broadcaster onto every single box i believe so let's have a quick look at uh yeah science yeah science we've got seven skill points Fantastic. So we've now maxed that out. We can now make battery banks and the broadcaster. Okay. So let's... We've just um, had a look at that. We need loads of polymers. So let's grab a load of those and electrical parts. We've got 270. Electrical parts are actually the struggle. But they're not that much of a struggle. Right, you need a welding torch. So that means you go to this bench... Okay, got loads of 762 on the craft. So that we'll put it on 11. So we're not putting them on everything. Um, this one is just mods. So there's no need for one to go on to there. Have I got an ergonomic grip yet? Of course I have. Of course I have. This one is where I put all my final food. So there's no need to have a broadcaster on that one either. But it'd be good because we've got all of these ingredients here just to be able to go... Yep, what can we cook? Just go into here and it will tell us the best stuff to cook. Um, I'm using... I've basically stopped using those two forges and just using this one to make loads of cement and things because we don't have to put anything into you. So there's no expense of fuel or anything like that. I know it's only a small expense, but we've got the time because we've got three days until the hoard anyway. So that's all good. Uh, silver and gold can go back up into there. 
That goes into there. That goes into there. We've used a load of this up. And I'm going to do some final combining because I'm, basically I'm running out of room. Um, not into you. Uh, no seeds come down here. I'm going to do some final combining of these laser pistols just so we end up with one decent one at the end because like I say my boxes are getting very very full here um, in fact I'm going to speed it up so you guys don't have to sit through it I'll do the laser batons while I'm there as well probably not actually going to use it but I may as well combine them up and I'll do this M4 thingy majiggy as well right let's speed that up There we go, fantastic. So we've combined a load of that together and we've got much better ones here. I'm probably not going to use the pistol. Um, I'm not really much of a, a pistol goer. Um, so that's, that's basically that. We're kind of going to keep the coil core, uh, carbine on us just for the second. Um, and we need to... Coal needs to live in there. Bones live into this one. And you live into this one here. Fantastic. Right. The last, I, th I think it's the last thing to look at, was the crossbow. Um, I don't actually have any points into archery. As much as, or the bow crafting, I should say. I think archery were actually... No, I've put none into there. I've only got four available, which is my slight issue at the moment. So what I could do, because my compound crossbow, or titanium crossbow, um, is quite low. But we could actually make a new one. But that would require me going into bow crafting. Now, I've only got four points available, which means I could only go to level 40. Yes, I could make a handful of them and get them better that way. But I think we're okay at the moment. But I am quite tempted. Um, we can make a titanium. I think that's what we've got. Yeah, titanium crossbow. What do you take to make? Steel, titanium. So we've got all of that. But we do need the master survivalist. Now, we did get a master yesterday. Uh, where's survivalist? The first one I ever went into. Okay. We're not going to spend points on that because they've started dropping us. Here's my special one. They've started dropping us the books. So that's the security master book, which we already have. We've already read it. But Anna is selling uh, the master books for 75 grand each, which is a little bit on the steep side. But uh, what's her name? Jen is selling it for a hundred thousand. So when you compare the two, it's a little bit of a bargain. Now I'm going to go repair my pickaxe. We did get a load of laser tools yesterday as well, actually. Um, yeah, I'm going to quickly whack them together to get us the best one. And in fact. I'm going to do the same with the auger and I'm going to do the same with the pickaxe and the spade and this axe as well. So I'm going to quickly do that. I've got this box over here, which I keep mentioning with shed loads of shit in it, which I'm going to combine them. And then we're going to go and sell that. I'm going to buy some stuff. So longest intro ever. Let's get cracking. Right, here we go. Dr. Jen. So I put the um, titanium spears together and they started off at only being worth 27 quid. Uh, and that was for a level like 20 or 16 or something like that. Put them all together to level 60. It's now worth 68 quid. So I would have been better off selling them individually. So that was not really much. There's none of this. A few of the guns. None of it's really worth much money at all. Uh, which is not really that useful for us, but we're going to... She won't buy any more of those, miserable cow. Sell those. 
but we did get 13 grand out of all that we'll sell those ones to dr anna in a minute i doubt she's got anything for sale that's of any note um, i will have a quick little look through though she does have a load of cement for sale i'm crafting a load but i will buy it because it's a decent amount no nothing I nothing that good at that all like. right Dr. Anna is our next stop. Well, it's your lucky day because I am actually here to buy, first of all, buy some crap off me. And that one. Perfect. Fantastic. Right, Dave, where are you? Come back and see me sometime. Dave, 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 Dave. Right, we have, in total, not very many health supplies on you. We have 192,000 Jukarunus. So... What are you selling? She's actually selling the portal power source. Now, I don't know if I need it for anything else. We needed it to make the laser workbench, but we got one as a reward from doing the job yesterday. But she does want 150k for that. A little bit steep in my book. We will buy the cement. Uh, I'm not going to buy gunpowder because I have a lot of gunpowder. Uh, have you got anything in here worth buying? M60s? No, 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 and no. Right, where are these? Oh, here we go. So we got Hunter and Science. Now let's just have a quick look. I think the Science one we definitely need, but let's just double We're check that. To dusk. Hunter so, Mastery. You know, we don't have clocks. What do you give me? That gives me a ghillie suit, titanium knives recipe, increased crafting tier by 10 for rifles, and stealth armor, increasing the range and duration of your tracking ability. I don't really care about that. Science gives us titanium hunting knife, advanced healing items, anti-rad meds, which we don't need anymore, crowbar, military tablets, titanium machetes, uh, increased stun chance of all stun batons, uh, increased crafting tier by tenfold bladed weapons, including spears, batons, crowbars, flamethrowers, rocket launchers, and robotic drone. Um, there's a few things that we know are hidden behind this one. So we've got the money, so we're going to buy it. Now, we've already got a job from you. So let's buy that one. Yeah, I don't think the Hunter's one really worth it. Survivalist well, is what I really day. want. I'm glad I could help you. So let's use that. Right, so that's all pretty good, and we've still got a hundred and well, one hundred eleven thousand dukes. This was the other thing. This is why I can't do the whole of my backpack yet because there is a large backpack, but we need master survivalists to do that. Unfortunately, we haven't got that and nobody is willing to sell it to us now it's already three o'clock um and we do have we have two jobs in the wasteland one of them is this tier five which is out in the arse end of nowhere probably in a big city though i've never done this one but i don't think i'm going to do it straight away we could go and just start smashing this one out we'll probably go for it i imagine it's exactly the same they might spawn differently but i imagine it's exactly the same which will probably take the whole of today and probably a bit of tomorrow and then i come back and carry on crafting stuff and then we'll be on to the horde night i would ask you to mention in the comments which one you'd rather me do but unfortunately i'm recording this now and we need an answer so I think that's where we're going to go and head because we've got food and stuff on us. We've got water on us. But I don't have any of my key cards on me. Balls. We have a gen here. Right. Let's take a quest in this town because I did not bring any key cards with me. So that is where, hey, big mama, that is the problem. 
That is a big problem. We did find plenty of key cards in there, but unfortunately we can't get into the place without the first key cards. So let's go and see Jen, get ourselves a job around here, and then have some fun. Right, I changed my mind about going to Trader Jen because Trader Bob was actually closer, but also I want to know what he's going to sell me. So let's trade with you. Will you, um, if I talk to you, are you going to... So Jen was offering to actually sell us the Master Scientist um, for 100k. I thought he might offer us something else, maybe the vehicle one or something like that. But he doesn't. So let's take a job off you. I want something close. We've got Pop a Pills Factory. Got an infestation there. Shotgun Messiah Factory. The two bit Didn't tower. With my it's rare to find we wanted to take that the other day. Sometimes. But we well, that's when we had that um that doofer, what's it? Uh that screamer horde. I'm gonna start buying honey because we're very, very low on honey. Now, nobody is selling us the power armor. We have two it's bits of power armor. Pleasure. I haven't put them on yet, though. But, um... You are locked behind technology crafting. Now, let's just have a quick look at where that might be. Ah, right. So, it's in this one, but this one is locked behind levels. So, we've done the first one. But you need... The top one. Which is level 140. Bugger me. We're 91. Okay, right. Dave, where are you? Come on. Chop, chop. Thank you. You can have your money back. And the cement. There we go. Fantastic. Where's my vehicle? Is over here. And we are going to go to this two-bit tower, because I've never done that. 900 metres away. It's in the next town over. It's already five o'clock. Uh, well, this will probably take us into tomorrow anyway, because it's a tier five quest. Right. I do know this one. This is the apartment block. I thought this was totally different. I don't know whether I was thinking about a film or something, but I thought there was a tower on its side. And to me, that's what I thought 2-bit tower was. Okay, we do know this one, and I actually quite like this one. Um, I did upgrade all my tools, combining them all together. Um, what I am going to be doing is running around this one, because I do know it so well with the baseball bat. But I am also going to spend a bit of time taking some stuff together, or taking them apart, sorry, just to get me, like, the electrical parts and mechanical parts, just to make sure we keep up with plenty of them. Put some gas into you. Unload everything into you. We will keep some of that on us, but we, we're not going to be using the coil rounds or anything like that, because I want to keep that for, for the proper the proper big raids. So, oh, let's get this side. Whoa, straight off the bat. Straight off the bat, we have demos. Nice. Okay, power armor. No, but more stuff we can put together. I'm not going to complain of that at all. Now that we have that workbench, it allows us to do that. Now, I do know we can put the uh, master books together ourselves. But they do take one hell of a lot of um, bundles of the skill notes. One hell of a lot. We did, if you missed yesterday's episode, we did actually upgrade the cargo mod on him as well. I'm liking that. Oh. Don't take me a little while to get used to that because I'm used to pressing the button to reload it. Purple one. 
see if I can see any more before going over to the demo. They're all white. Damn, you're good, Kraken. Oh, what is going on? A skill point and killing a demo in one shot. Right, even though the stats were lower, there we go, scrubs. Even though the tall scrubs, you're a big bitch. Even though the stats were down lower on the ooh, ooh, key card, on the baseball bat, another key card. It feels a hell of a lot stronger. Right, I am going to start taking all this apart. Oh, caught to nine at night already. This is going to take the rest of the day. So I've just taken all of this apart. I'm not going to worry about the dogs. Yeah, nothing in here. Wouldn't it's not going to be cement and stuff like that. Um, let's just see if there's anything in here for us. Weapons bag. Fantastic. Bastard. Oh, and a demo. Demo with no legs now. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Now, I will get bored halfway through uh, ripping stuff apart. So, we all know that's going to happen. Because I've already managed to gain myself um, 156 mechanical parts. And I can't. 43 electrical parts. So, a little bit lower on the electrical parts. But um, to be fair, most things we make only require like 5 or 10. They're not big amounts. So. What is it with you guys? I've got all turned around. Where am I going? Where are you? Ah, there you are. Drop me a loot bag. Give me something nice. Ah, some stuff to combine together. Right, let's get back up there. And this is a fetch and clear. We've got to do both parts to this, which will get us some more XP. And a few more Zucaroonies. Scrap those apart. Nobody hiding in there. I do see one hiding over here. Right. Here we go. Bastard. Tell you what, that battery comes in clutch at times. Utter clutch. somebody else spitting where are you where are you or are you just guys glowing glowing in the dark nice 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 right now this always used to drop but there are zombies down there Alright, looks like looks like there's still zombies down there. Oh hello. That never used to be there. Okay. It's... Play whack a mole. Am 
Well, that wasn't too difficult. They've actually got a key on the door now to actually get back up where you were before. Nice. Oh, that's actually quite good. Grilled meat. Normally you get like charred meat or something like that, but to get some grilled meat is um is fairly nice. Now what might be something worth doing would actually be bringing there. This is what I was talking about. This is what we normally get. Um, would be actually bringing a laser workbench actually around with us. So when we start getting like these, like lots of them, of the same kind of things, quickly whacking it down and just combining them up. Right, he's not dead, so he is going to blow. from the ceiling. Come on over. Who are you off to? Oh. Trying to do splits in the air. Fantastic. Right, I don't know... So you've made a big hole, but you didn't really have much in there by the looks of it. Bit too late now anyway. Alright, we can eat you. But yeah, taking a laser workbench around might not actually be the worst idea in the world. Two sorted. Nice. That's one thing about Darkness Falls, they do drop a hell of a lot of loot. Nobody in the closet! Oh, hello. I hate it when I do that. I can stand on something and um, get lobbed into the air. You in there? No. You in this one? Number red dot, where are you? Ah, oh, you're in this one. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Glowy, how are you doing? Probably having a slightly better day than you. Obviously, we have put a few points into self as well, which is nice. Not work for us on that occasion. Right, there we go. Make a bigger hole in the door for us. There we go. Number one. Make sure you don't blow up. Right. Ah, there you are. Still one. Have a bloody magnum again. Loads of those bloody magnums. I'm guessing she's somewhere else. That looked pretty good for us. Ooh, cheeky cow. Lovely jubbly. The one thing about this apartment block is always been kind of very stoppy starty. Obviously, because every room is very similar until we start getting up towards all the builders' area that hasn't been constructed yet. So it's literally do that, do that, and now we've got a bit of time. Scrap and read everything up. So yeah, we actually did get a research note there and a key card, which is nice. Right then, stealthy number one. Right, that spawned everybody in. Imagine they're going to be behind this wall. It does look like. Of course there is. Right, we've got a purpler. Purple Nigel. Let's get you reloaded. I am lo 
other than this mod. Out of all the mods in the game, there it is, four o'clock in the morning, this one for the crossbow is by far my favourite. No challenge for me, Mrs. Purple. And stop and start again. Right, this area I definitely do remember. This gets pretty hairy up here. And obviously, as we've already started seeing demos and stuff, they could start causing a bit of a problem. I think down here is pretty much clear. Oh, there was one down here. But up there, it's going to start getting a little bit hairy. Let me just quickly grab the stuff from down here, though. And then we'll scrap it up. Coffee, though, we can drink that. I have just been um, drinking things like the bowls of water. Death meal, we definitely have not been keeping hold of. And I've started already loading Dave up. I do get other radiators and stuff, but I'm just keeping the five on me because. We have actually needed them um, occasionally. In fact, I'm going to scrap a few of these for the iron because we've got a 50, level 58. That I'm probably never going to use that gun anyway. And the sham sandwiches, we've got a load of those at home, so I'm not going to keep hold of those. Right, let's try and sneak up here, which is now coming from a different direction. I'm pretty damn sure... It always used to be from the other direction. Oh. They basically all fall down from the ceiling. Right, they've now spawned in. Now I can only actually see you. I don't think I'm going to be able to knock any of these out. There's quite a few here, and it used to be military zombies. Which used to make it harder. So what I used to do was back myself into that corner there. <laughs> Sweet as another skill point. Come on back over to me. Because you guys haven't fallen yet, so I'm going to... I'm going to use that. I can see another one there. I can't really see any more. I'll leave you guys in the roof. Doesn't help when you press two buttons at once. Fantastic. Right, come on down you come. There you go. So that was actually a lot easier. I say normally it's a load of military zombies and stuff. That was one way to get yourself out. I did see a lot of dots spawning then. I don't know if they're the room next door. Now nah, here they come. Still a load more. So yeah, they probably did just break through or something. But right, oh, some more hazmat fiber. Not that we actually, I don't believe we need it for anything else now. But um, eight beans, we can eat them. They're behind there. Okay, come on over. Oh, 
Now half of those dots could be the other dots from before. As we go out here, around the block. I did think this used to be logged off, but um... So you're burning here. Right, we, have what's, we have pissed a few people off. Not quite sure where. They could, again, they could be the ones from next door. Right. Yeah, you're pissed off. Purple construction workers. Right, sort myself out before we start getting into this area, because this area can get a little bit... How are you doing? Right, you didn't even give me time to get in here. Yep, one at a time. This purple, straight onto the sandbags. Another blue key card. Very nice, very nice. Right, here we go then. So with the first outside area of this POI. There's one right at the top as well. Now the Supplies actually are on this level, but they must be outside because we can't see them there. Big Mama's in the house. Yeah, not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. I'm going another book. Get the bag. Hmm. Probably could have... Probably could have snipered most of this out. Clapping turkey, get out of here. Ooh. Bit hasty there, running in. Right, so the bag is 3.9 meters behind that wall. Now, my pickaxe is pretty damn good now. I'm going to just through this one here. I don't mind grabbing the extra stones because they actually give me a decent amount of stones now. There it is. And my super long extended arms helps me as well. I haven't done any of the factories since the update. That could be worth having a look at at some point. Oh, I do, do love this. Do love this mod. Up you come, people. Oh, come on, that is all the shooting. There we go. Not too bad at all. Bit of dodgy shooting in there, but to be expected. Now that other red dot is going to be that idiot that's fallen down below. Uh, right. Reset ourselves. 
get our looting sorted, and then on to the next bit. Nigel, how are you doing, my man? Come on, people, come on over. Have one more in here. Not in the toilets. Ah, oh, there you are. There we go. This bat has become stronger because most of these we are now one shotting. This room always used to be quite a quite a fun room, as you see by the amount of dots. And I've got most of the way through the room, but it's they're still they're still pretty hidden. But we'll see what we can do. If not, we'll run back to the beginning. There we go. Now I got them all. So run back to the beginning. Get your M60 out. And remember that they can come through both parts of the door. Which obviously never used to be a thing. Ooh, got ourselves another titanium fire axe here. Right, I'm scrapping the batteries because we've got so many of those. Um, I am actually going to keep that one because we can combine that with our Ujimaflasm. Right, uh, steel crossbow bolts we're not using anymore, so let's just... There we go. Move everything up. I'm not going to keep hold of the seeds because we've got those planted anyway. So yeah, not looking too bad at the moment. Dave, how are you looking? You've got a bit of room on you, so we'll lob a bit more food and stuff onto you. There we go, and there's a few more little bits and bobs. Right, you're now full up. Only one of these um, research nodes, which is a little bit of a shame. Now you're locked, we won't bother going through you. Let's go up rather than down. Um, I have been taking those apart, if I hit them. Yep, you're still locked. Right, now this can get a little bit hairy. Right, let's see what stealth we can do in here. See the amount of dots? Sweet as skill points. I'm going to quickly get in here, still crouched, she'll run round. I think we got away with that. Oh, look at that, another beaker. Very important. Right, now... I don't know if there's any others we can um we're gonna be able to quickly get away with. Right, it was just the one around there. Now if we do our old ramp trick. There we go, that ramp there. Might be able to just Sneaky, sneaky. Right. There's scrubs. Oh my god, I'd run out of my five. Right. There we go. I think we've outstayed our welcome. Dave, I would not stand there if I was you. Lock up the doorway with dead bodies. Right, 
Horde night all over again. We'll deal with the flapping turkeys. I think that's all of the ones on the ground. Over here. Oh, you bugger. There we go. Come on. Nice. Nice. Right, we've got another loot bag over here to grab. Fantastic. More electrical parts. Wasn't too bad, was it? And there's the final loot. Now we've still got that zombie on the ground to kill. But let's um, have a little look through here. So we've got another cool gun grip. That's good. Because I, the um, level of these weapons go pretty damn high. So we can keep on building them and combining them together because that's all just going to be more help for us. Okay. Car parts. Bit of cat food. A normal fire axe. Jesus. And let's get into this one. There we go. Oh! Now I did actually nearly make myself two of those earlier. So, quite glad I didn't now actually because that can go straight onto our armour. Because some more of this stuff here, this is an, again another reason why taking around the laser workbench might actually be kind of useful for us. But, let's take what we can. Dave, where are you? Because I'm pretty sure you can take quite a bit of that. Yep, you can. So we're just left with a couple of things here. Uh, we'll scrap you, we'll get rid of you. We've got pipes here. We'll take the welding torch. Now, I've got quite a few of them spare anyway. And there's a bit more stuff on here to scrap for us as well. Scrap you. And at first glance, we'll scrap you for the military. Yeah, scrap those ones. We're just going to carry on with the heavy stuff. There we go. Fantastic. Now I'm pretty damn sure it's just that one guy left. We will check up here, see if there's any more for any more people. There might be a couple, but I'm I'm pretty damn sure. Hello. It is just that um, that one guy left. So let's go and find him. Now we are going to give this a go. There we go. Fall down onto you. A lot of these buildings, there are actually ways that you can sort of get yourself down a lot faster without having the candy which I'm not sure if it's in darkness falls actually I don't know where that guy's made it to right there we go back down the ground won't go out of the area let's just make a bit of a ruckus and see if he comes to us oh, quite a few are coming over Double decap. And he must have been one of them. Must have been one of them because we have now completed it. Fantastic. Right, Dave. Take that off me. Right, let's go and hand this back into Trader Bob. Trader, Trader Bob, how you doing? Right, we're back here. Finally. So, I'm going to hand this in. Get out of my way. Hand this in. And um, then we're going to call it a video Anything because... Like many thanks. You've proved to be very resourceful. 
Here's your pay. So, yeah, we're going to um, hand this in now and then we're going to call it a video and I'm going to spend the rest of the day doing, again, some... Just getting all my... Um, armor spikes, what are they? Adore your chest piece and spikes that will cause bleeding damage to anything that harms you. Oh. To be honest, I could have already picked those up and maybe accidentally scrapped them. I don't know. Why not? But he's given me... 12,000 XP. A load of jukes as well. So let's see how much XP that gives us down here. Can you teach me anything? Hmm. Do you have any other work? Open a trade route. No. Okay. I'm not going to take another job off you. But yeah, it did move an um, inch or so down there. Sometimes an inch is all what you need. Well, the extra inch anyway. You started with an inch. Well. Sucks to be you. Anyway. <laughs> there we go, guys. And girls. This is where we're going to leave it. Big thumbs up on the video, as always. I'm just going to go back, do a load of crafting, and tomorrow is... Is that the next horde? Was it 63, 62? I don't know. Maths isn't my thing. I think tomorrow night is going to be the Horde night. But there we go. Bit more fun for you. And we'll start. We've got a couple of treasure maps to do. Only two, actually, I think. Two or three. And then we will we'll be doing the upgrading in the morning. And fighting in the evening. Catch you later, guys. <laughs>